I had to come to a realization about who Dan Levitard is. <laughs> My name is Dale, and today we're talking about Jason Whitlock going in on Dan Levitard for being fake. Check this one out. Stephen A. is more authentic than Dan Levitard. People can hear that, and Levitard and his crew may respond like, oh, Whitlock's bad because he and Dan aren't friends anymore, blah, blah, blah. That ain't it. I, I, not it at all. It's just I had to come to a realization about who Dan Levitard is. He is. Dan Levitard and I used to be very good friends. Uh, you know, was my best friend in the industry for a time. And, and obviously I've known Stephen A. Smith. We were never really close, but we were friendly for a time. Obviously, you know, I worked at ESPN and, and all of that. But, but what's, what's driving Levitard is he's continuing a shtick that he has developed as that he's the rebel, he's the outspoken person speaking truth to the establishment, and everybody else is a fraud, and everybody else has sold out. I haven't. And, and Levitard, I don't know if you, used, if you ever read or used to read The Big Lead, but Levitard at one point had, when, when that Ryan Glass Beagle, who I like and respect, uh, was working over at the Big Lead. Uh, Levitard was very close with Ryan and used to, Ryan used to write all these things very sympathetic to portray Dan. Oh, Dan's just so worried about his staff and his people and his integrity. And but it was all BS. Dan is a sellout. And so he goes after a Stephen A. Smith to, to pretend like he's not a sellout. No, Stephen A is the real sellout. We keep it real over here. And, and I've never sold out. Dan is a sellout. Stephen A. Smith knows Dan's a sellout. Stephen A. Smith, I don't believe it. I don't think he's a sellout. Stephen A. Smith has always been about the money. He said he's about the money. He wants to be as popular and as famous as he can possibly be. That's been his agenda. He's open about that agenda. He's, he's open about his support and shilling for ESPN. Stephen A. is more authentic than Dan Levitard. People can hear that, and Levitard and his crew may respond like, oh, Whitlock's bad because he and Dan aren't friends anymore, blah, blah, blah. That ain't it. I, I, not it at all. It's just I had to come to a realization about who Dan Levitard is. He's phony. Keep in mind, Dan Levitard's parents are Cuban refugees in the true sense. Cuban refugees. Cubans in Miami that have lived in Cuba at some point. They're the most conservative people in America. <laughs> They're to the right of Royce. <laughs> They're to the right of Bryson. I used to know Dan Levitard's family, parents, you know, woman he was dating at the time, very close. We, we vacationed together, couples and all this. N knew them all. This is a conservative group of people. Cubans in Miami have very little respect for Dan Levitard because they know he's a sellout. He, this whole left wing shtick and this whole thing of like, uh, what you've done to journalism, saying to Stephen A. Smith this, what him and that show have done, highly questionable, did more damage to journalism, yes. sports TV journalism, than First Take and any other of the shows wrapped together. Dan Levitard, Bomani Jones, that was his partner in crime when the show had a tiny modicum of success. Bomani Jones has no journalistic chops, resume, record, nothing. No, and that, that's not me being 
better. The facts speak for themselves. Bomani Jones ain't never covered no team. He's never been a journalist. He used to, he wrote a few handful of articles, and Bill Simmons used to call him out how lazy he was and how the guy keeps falling upwards. I can remember back when I was on Team Bomani Jones, Bill Simmons used to be like, what are you talking about? This guy's a clown. He, he, he has no work ethic, no follow through. He's accomplished nothing, and we keep giving him opportunities. At that time, I was defending Bomani. Bill Simmons was actually right. That's who Dan Levitard partnered with on Holly Questionable. Dan Levitard had no respect for Bomani. I heard that from Dan's own mouth. Uh, Bomani had very little respect for uh, Dan Levitard. Heard that from Bomani's own mouth. Uh, they could, but they did a show. They'd bring on rappers and let the whole little clown show thing go. Katie Nolan, Sarah Spain, all of these people with no journalism record. K Katie Nolan was a bartender who was flirting with executives to get jobs. That's who Dan was putting on his show two, three times a week. And you want to blame Stephen A. Smith for ruining journalism and sports television? You done took a little flirt out of a bar and put her on TV and pretending like she has something to say important about the sports world? And, and, and y'all wonder why I come across like a misogynist, which I, I'm not, but I'm going to tell the truth about these, a lot of these women in the sports media field. They're not there because they know anything about sports. Many of them. There are some that are there, and I'll call them out by name. But anyway, I, I find I don't. Stephen A. Smith and Dan, this is, what has ruined ESPN isn't, and sports TV, isn't debate. There's nothing wrong with debate. There's nothing wrong with even orchestrated debate like Stephen A. and, and, and Skip Bayless do. The problem with sports TV is dishonesty. That's the problem. That's what ruined it. Dishonesty, a lack of transparency, an abandonment of the sports merit meritocratic values. That is what has damaged sports. Putting on unqualified idiots to spew left wing political talking points. I'm talking about unqualified idiots. Jamel Hill pretending like she has something important to say about the world, other than, other than tweeting, Donald Trump, he's a racist. And pretending like that's a serious conversation and you're sitting across from a serious journalist. Jamel Hill has a very limited, very limited journalism record. She worked at some newspapers where they pushed her up the ladder because she's a black woman and she was unique and, and you could get diversity, equity, inclusion bonuses for being the exec that promoted her. But she ain't got no journalism record. Hardly any of these people do. Dan Levitard used to be a good journalist. He sold out and started associating with and promoting people with no journalistic record, and he got in the whole dishonest game, oh, let's pretend like, oh, Katie Nolan, what she has to say, oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. This bartender that's, uh, you know, has never accomplished anything, she's got something important to say about sports. He did that, not Stephen A. Smith. I don't know, I don't know Dan's backstory. I used to listen to Dan Lebertard in the morning from about like uh, 2014 to 2016 when they were on the radio. Him and Stugatz and the whole gang that he has right now, uh, El Amin, right? But I did not know anything about his past, who he screwed over, who didn't like him, or Manny Jones, who, whoever it was. So I don't know about that. But apparently Jason Whitlock, you know, was there with them. So he knows and he has firsthand info, okay? So when it comes down to being fake and Dan Lebertard being a hypocrite, I don't think he's a hypocrite, okay? Because it's not that he's calling out Stephen A, all right, and saying Stephen A is the only one, all right? 
I think he's really talking about the industry itself, but he likes to talk about those who are leading the industry in the direction that it is going. All right. He called out Skip, he called out Stephen A, All right, because they moved the industry in this direction, in the direction of entertainment only, or majority, like 90% entertainment, okay, and 10% substance. I don't think that he was inferring that he just provides substance alone because when you look at the show, it's not like it's not, it's not like that. All right, it's it's majority entertainment, but I think that he does not really want to do it like that. But in order to keep up with the rest of the industry where it is right now, I think that he has to do it. That's why he has two guys there. Okay, that's why he has uh, what's his name, Chris Cody or whatever his name is. He's there as well, all right? Comedians, guys that are making jokes every minute, okay? Um, at, at no point, you know, should anybody mistake this show for, uh, you know, all analysis and no entertainment, because it's just not that, all right? It's, it's entertainment first, the same way that Skip is entertainment first, the same way that Stephen A. Smith is as well. But he's just pointing it out, and I think that he is frustrated that it has to be like this that's that skip and Stephen a took it to, to this point where they are now where you have to do this everybody has to do this at this point so i don't know why jason whitlock is calling him a hypocrite because he's doing the same thing as Stephen a he has no choice everybody at this point has to do that or else they're going to sink in order to swim you have to provide what Stephen a provides what shannon provides what skip provides Right? Nobody, nobody wants to tune into anything else other than that in this, in this day and age. All right? So that's about it. So until next time.